WBGF 25 News. A woman's small dog bit an employee in a Palm Beach public supermarket. It happened right there at the checkout. Terry Parker spoke with the dog's owner. She's live in the newsroom. And Terry, this is not the first time that that dog has bitten someone. Exactly. This little Palm Beach pooch has been terrorizing quite a few people and another dog on his daily outings. And now he's no longer welcome at the Palm Beach Publix. This video inside the Palm Beach Publix captures Maya Johnson buying groceries with her Lhasa Apso Martini. Johnson says she takes the dog everywhere she goes. Suddenly, you see bagger Mary Familius put something in the cart and jump back in alarm. Martini bit the bagger. Johnson scolds Martini, goes over to check the arm, and even takes a picture of it. But she told me on the phone that this wasn't Martini's fault, explaining, Martini is a very sweet dog. I think he got scared when the guy was putting away the groceries and touched his paw. Problem is, police say Martini bit a second bagger at Publix just nine days later. After that, the manager told Johnson her dog was no longer welcome. But it turns out that this wasn't the first time that little Martini had bitten someone. He'd also attacked a small dog right here in Johnson's own building. And the owner of that dog tells me that he'd also bitten her twice. This is a picture of Andre, a three year old Bichon police say was bitten by Martini in the lobby of the oceanfront condominium where Johnson and Martini live. His owner, Lynn Smith, sent me this picture of his belly wound, which necessitated a $400 vet visit. And she sent me this picture of the bite on her arm. She says this was the second time Martini attacked and bit her. Anytime an animal breaks the skin of a person, if the victim wants to pursue it, then it becomes a situation where the animal needs to go through a quarantine. Captain Dave Oleski says Johnson had to quarantine her Palm Beach pooch for 10 days. But if he bites someone else, he says they should report it. People need to be careful with their animals, that's for sure. And if you're going to take your animal out in public, it's got to be an animal that's not going to hurt people. And Johnson's neighbor, who was bitten originally, did not want to pursue criminal charges. But she told me by phone that her dog is still suffering, that Johnson never paid that $400 vet bill like she promised. So now she's changed her mind and she is going to file a complaint with Animal Care and Control to see if they can try to do something to make Johnson better control her little martini. In the newsroom, Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.